Hello, the internet. I'm Dr. Peter Allen. My PhD is in bioanalytical chemistry, and I have seen some people out there who are scared of luciferase, and I want to talk about that because it is hilarious. Why are people scared of it? Because apparently some conspiracy theorists have told people that they, whoever they are, are putting luciferase, luciferase, into the vaccines, which is obviously devil stuff. Lucifer, right? Okay. No, there's no luciferase in the vaccine, and luciferase doesn't have anything to do with the morning star, old scratch hob, old Nick, Lucifer, the great adversary, Satan. And I've made a comic about that. Fireflies have an enzyme that lights up their butt. We humans named it luciferase. Luce for light, fur for bearing, ace for enzyme. Opinions on this choice are divided. So why are people confused about this? Well, maybe it's because luciferase has been used in RNA vaccine related experiments and someone might have gone back through the old literature and found references to this and just been like, aha, it's in the vaccine. It is actually a really useful tool. It doesn't have anything to do with the devil. Okay, so how did people come to believe that this tool, this test to see if a gene transfer worked was in the vaccine? I don't know exactly how they got the idea, but I'm going to speculate that it might have been based on a misunderstanding of a paper like this one. In general, in the cell, you have this process where DNA is converted to RNA, which is then used to make protein. RNA vaccines skip the DNA and they just go straight from the viral spike RNA to the viral spike protein. But you want to know if your formula for getting RNA into the cell and getting it made is going to work. So we'd like to have some sort of test RNA to introduce into cells that we can easily tell whether it worked or not. And that's where her luciferase comes in. You use the luciferase RNA that makes luciferase protein, which lights up and we can see it. The downside, of course, is that you do need to add this chemical called luciferin. Uh, it looks like this. Now, once the group proved that yes, the mRNA does get into cells, it gets produced, it gets degraded as intended, there's no need to use luciferase anymore. You move on to different mRNA after that. mRNA for disease-related proteins, like the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. Vaccine mRNA doesn't have a luciferase gene, it only has the viral spike protein gene. And if you wanted to see light come out of the luciferase, were it in there, you'd still have to add luciferin. So as a way to track people, it's a terrible, stupid idea because you still have to inject people with luciferin to even know if it had worked. All right. I've been trying to end videos with some kind of call to action, something uh, that's kind of tough for this one, right? What can rational people do to help with this weird misinformation or disinformation about vaccines and strange stuff in them? How do we help people who are deep into conspiracy theory cult think so deep that they think the term luciferase is hidden in plain sight evidence that bioscientists are Satanists, actually? Well, I, I don't know. The best thing I've got is to donate to factcheck.org, put a link in the description, or even donate to Wikipedia. I think donating uh, to Wikipedia on the regular basis is a way to help get fact-based information out there in a way that's generally pretty well verified about scientific stuff. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, we will see you next time.